In this free CAD tutorial, you learn how to make an aesthetic model with thickness, patterns, and cuts. To start with the base of the model, create a new sketch in the Part Design Workbench. Select the bottom plane to sketch on. Select the Centered Rectangle tool. Start sketching on the origin, enter a horizontal distance of 90 mm and a vertical distance of 60 mm. Click on Close to exit the sketch. Select the Pad feature to extrude the rectangular sketch. Check the reversed box. Leave the length at 10 mm and click on OK. Now select the four corner edges while holding the Control key. Then go to the Fillet tool. Enter a radius of 5 mm and click on OK. Select the top face and go to the Fillet tool again. Enter a radius of 3 mm. You see this fillet is all around the model. Click on OK to apply. Now select the bottom face and go to the Thickness tool. Enter a thickness of 1.5 mm and click on OK. Click on this button to create a new sketch. Select this plane to sketch on top of the model. Select the centered rectangle tool and start sketching on the origin. Click right mouse button to cancel if you started in the wrong position. Enter a horizontal distance of 80 mm and a vertical distance of 2 mm. This looks like a bug, the vertical distance was ignored. Undo two steps to remove all sketch lines. Start again and enter a horizontal distance of 80 mm. Now click, instead of entering a value. Select the Dimension tool. Click on a vertical line and enter a distance of 2 mm. Click on Close to exit the sketch. Select the Pad feature to extrude the rectangular sketch. Enter a length of 1 mm and click on OK to apply. Select the extrusion and go to the Multi-Transform tool. Right-click here and add a linear pattern. Select the vertical sketch axis for the direction. For the mode, choose Offset. Enter an offset of 5 mm and also 5 occurrences. Right-click here again to add another linear pattern. Select the vertical sketch axis for the direction. Also choose the offset mode for this pattern and enter an offset of 5 mm with 5 occurrences. Don't forget to check the reversed box to swap the pattern to the other side. Click on OK to apply. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks! Now create a new sketch on the same bottom plane again. Select the Centered Rectangle tool and start sketching on the origin. Enter the values to create a rectangle of 25 by 15 mm. Click on Close to exit the sketch. Select the Pocket tool and check the reversed box. Also choose Through All for the sake of right modeling and click on OK to apply. Now it's time to round off the ribs across the entire width. Create a new sketch on this plane for that. Select the Arc by Center tool. Click on the vertical axis and start here, right above the horizontal axis. And end here on the other side. Select the Polyline tool. 
and draw a box above the arc to create a closed contour. End where you started the arc. Right-click twice to exit the Polyline tool. Select this line and add a vertical constraint. Click on these two vertices and then on the vertical axis. And add a symmetrical constraint. Now select the Dimension tool. And select this vertex. You may want to zoom in to create this distance to the horizontal axis. Enter a distance of 0.25 mm. Also add a horizontal distance of 40 mm. To define this sketch, add a distance to this vertical line. Also add a radius of 1,500 mm to the arc. Now the arc covers the ribs entirely. Right-click to exit the Dimension tool. Also, this line needs to be vertical. Select it and add a vertical constraint. Now the sketch is fully constrained so you can click on Close. Select the Pocket tool and choose Through All. This is what Symmetric to Plane does. The cut will also cover the other side. Check the box to see what it does. Click on OK to apply. If you made it this far, well done, you finished the model. You might also want to check out my 3D printing channel. See you there.